Hi there, my name is Anna and I'm a swim instructor at Yarra Leisure. This set of clips will give you some information and some skills to try with your little swimmer or your young swimmer who is learning breaststroke legs. And even if your child has already done some breaststroke in swimming lessons, this is a good little refresher and it's a good way to stay in touch with, with learning breaststroke legs. Now, the, the tips are that your body and your legs needs to be working at the same time. So your legs need to go out at the same time and come back into a glide at the same time as well. Um, the other tip that is in there is that you must bring your feet back. And you'll see that I talk about penguin lap feet or I might say flex. So those instructions are in there. And there is a clear progression for breaststroke legs. So the first one you're gonna do is sitting on a chair or on your couch, or it might be down at the park and sitting under a tree and getting that rhythm of getting your feet out and going back to a nice long glide and holding it in that glide. So that's the first one. So here, this swimmer is fairly new to breaststroke. And I'm going to show you some practice that your swimming teacher will love if you do at home. So the first thing we're going to do is think about a few positions of our legs. Now the first one is just uh, in a what we would call is a glide, which is a nice long leg pointing with pointed toes. Yeah, nice soft, soft feet. It's a little bit tricky when you're sitting on a chair, but this is the best way to learn it out of the water first. So you're going to point and you'll always count one, two, and then you take your heels back to your bottom. So back to your bottom first. And now you do penguin feet. And now with your big toe, you draw a slow circle all the way back to the point. One, two, back to your bottom penguin feet, please. Nice big circle point. One, two, back to your bottom penguin. And do your circle with your big toe, back to point. One, two, back to your bottom. Ah, uh, now hold on, yeah, that's good. Penguin, back to your bottom. So you want your feet to do this at the same time on the opposite side. Oh, forgot, forgot your penguin feet. Yeah, you must do this penguin feet. And back to point, point, one, two. You did, so we wanna hold that for our penguin feet, one, Two for a point rather. Penguin feet. So the secret to breaststroke legs is not to rush. You have to do it now. Like You've got this. sore legs. <laughs> you can do it like this, right? Show me how. No, that's backwards. And it's too fast. So it's more important that we do it nice and slowly. Then it'll go way a Then it'll look like it's going way a little bit. All right. So let's try it again, doing it nice and slowly. And carefully. So we're going to start in our glide and with point feet, pointed feet. One, two, back to your bottom. Penguin, circle to point. One, two, back to your bottom. Penguin, penguin, penguin. And draw a circle with your big toe back to point. One, two, back to your bottom. Penguin. And a circle, back to point. One, two, by yourself. I'm gonna let it go. Mm -hmm. Penguin, mm -hmm. now your circle. We're gonna, this is a really good way to start your breaststroke legs. So you're gonna have them nice, stretched out in front of you in your glide and we're gonna count. Okay, so me, you ready? One, two, now you take them back to the bottom. Penguin feet and draw a circle. One, two, back to your bottom. Penguin, draw a circle and point. One, two, back to your bottom. Circle. So that circle is drawn with your big toes, swimmers. Penguin. And you can see that this swimmer's knees are not going really wide. They're just staying nice and relaxed. Point, one, two, back to your bottom. Flex, oh, you forgot the flex on the penguin. Flex. One, two, bottom, penguin, that's it. So you can do this at home in your lounge room. It's not raining today, so we've come out for some fresh air. All right, I just want to explain to you why it is really important when we're doing breaststroke legs, our feet are really important and why it's important to turn that out 
yeah not swim like this or not swim with a pointed toe going outwards we want our feet to come back into this penguin position and then go around so the reason for that is um, let's compare it to say when we do freestyle we're using this part of our hand to grab the water and pull it yeah so we use our palm and our fingers everything to grab the water at the catch and pull it through and then we push the water as well so when we do breaststroke legs <clears throat> we're using this part here of our foot to move the water so we must have it out to the side so then we grab the get the water we push the water and then we glide again yeah so we come up we grab the water and push the water with the inside of our foot so if our toe is pointed like this yeah we don't get much of a push we don't get much 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 of a push or a pull so we want to or push really so we just want to make sure our foot is all the way back here like this yeah good job and then you can see we've got to have it turned out because this is where the water is and it's pushing the water back all right so now that you've got the hang of how your legs should look when you're sitting outside of out of water then you're going to try it on your tummy so when we're doing it on our tummies we lie flat and you'll see your knees or you'll feel that your knees are behind you now, one of the tricky things when we get into the water with breaststroke legs is sometimes we bring our knees up under our tummy and we don't wanna do that. So this is a really, really practical and it's a good skill to do to get make sure that your knees are staying behind you. Everything else still stays the same. So you're gonna bring your feet back towards your bottom. You're gonna do penguin feet or flex and then you're gonna draw a big circle with your big toes back to a glide and hold that glide for two seconds. Now, there's no rush, yeah? It's more important that you get your feet back and you get the, your feet even, then you do it quickly. And your swimming teacher will love it if you're practicing this at home. Good luck. So when you're doing it on your tummy, you're lying down and you're going to bring your feet back to your bottom. Okay, swimmer. And now do your penguin, that's it. And draw a nice slow circle back to point. Now. The tricky bit for this is to control your circle. Back to your bottom, control your circle, nice and even, trying to make your legs move in exactly the same time. Back to your bottom, penguin, and do your circle. Bottom, penguin, and circle. Swimmers, I hope you had a go at that today, and I really hope that we see you back swimming at the pool soon.